everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Daria and today I'm going to be taking you guys through my 2020 reading list and which books I will be reading this year. So I've bought 10 books at the moment which I'm hoping to read while I'm home in Tasmania. i am started on book number one and that is Create Calm. So this is my first book. I'm about a third of the way in and I'm enjoying it so far. This book is about pretty much escaping the chaos of the world, teaching yourself ways in which you can remain calm in situations and not letting situations dictate the way that you behave. I'm really enjoying this one as I'm someone that can get quite stressed out easily and in situations that I find myself in so I'm reading this one and I've found a few good tips so far so I can recommend this one. The next book I picked up is this one which is called Aligned and Unstoppable. This is one of my most Got a glade there. This is one of my most recent purchases and it's How to Align Your Dreams, Clear Away Fears and Call In What's Next. This is by Cassie Mendoza Jones. I'll just read a bit of the back as well for you guys. Do the work that lights you up. In Aligned and Unstoppable, you will discover how to nurture, expand and maintain a creative life and path that deeply aligns to who you are. Staying anchored and grounded in your truth, all while building a beautiful, sustainable life and business that lights up your soul and the world. Blending practical tools with spiritual insights, coaching prompts and empowering exercises, you'll do the inner work that's needed to create what's most aligned to you. So that's just something that really grabbed my attention and all the things that I'm about. So yeah, gonna give that one a read at some point. I also like books that aren't too heavy. These pages are pretty nice. So got about that much text, I can stick with that. So the next two books I picked up are by Sylvester McNutt and the first one is Lust for Life. So this I had seen all over Instagram, especially his quotes. They are everywhere on Instagram and I wondered how I could get my hands on this because they don't actually sell it on Booktopia or Dimmix or anything like that in Australia. So I did have to get it off um, what's it called? Uh, Amazon. So I got this off Amazon. This book is about the desire to live life to its fullest. The path of attracting self-love, compassionate love and a true appreciation for what real love is. The goal to be financially free, abundant in resources and sustained. The arc of learning self, of learning inner worthiness and inner peace. The act of caring about what matters, learning new skills and letting go of energy that no longer serves you. Lust for life is a lifestyle of grace and inner wealth. Lust for life is a declaration that you are worthy of success, happiness and love throughout life. And I just thought this was a book that could give me some really good reminders about what's important. And yeah, just put me on the right path. So I was like, gonna read that one too. The next book by Sylvester McNutt is Free Your Energy, The Path to Freedom, Mental Clarity and a Life of Enjoyment. I don't know, I just like the vibe of all his books. Again, quotes everywhere on Instagram by this guy. Yeah, this one just seems like a really good read. So I picked that one up as well. Sorry about the crickets you can hear in the background. I don't know what that is about. It's just been raining all day here in Tasmania and that's a problem. <laughs> the next book I got is Start With Why, which is by Simon Sinek. Probably botched that, but that's how I'm interpreting it. And this is how great leaders inspire everyone to take action. And it's a global bestseller. I have seen this everywhere. And it's a really important thing to like question yourself on why you're doing something. And then you can determine if it's something you really want to do. And if you don't have a why, you're probably not going to achieve what you're setting out to. So I thought this book could really help me with, yeah, just determining where I want to be in life and the things that I do. On the back it says, why are some people and organizations more inventive, pioneering and successful than others? And why are they able to repeat their success again and again? Because in business, it doesn't matter what you do, it matters why you do it. Steve Jobs, the Wright brothers and Martin Luther King have one thing in common. They started with why. This book is for anyone who wants to inspire others or to be inspired. That's me. This book is another one I've been seeing a lot on Instagram and this is The Daily Stoic. It's 366 meditations on wisdom, perseverance and the art of living. I just thought that was a really cool thing. I haven't started this one yet. There's one for like every day. So if you look inside the book, it's got these kind of things. And it gives you the date for which one you read and also just, yeah, a little thing to read each day. I thought that was a really cool book when I did open it. I really like the concept of it. So at some stage, I will start this and do a full year. Again, I had seen this one a lot online. It's No Mud, No Lotus and it's the art of transforming suffering. When I first originally saw this, I thought it was going to be a really big book, but then I got it and look how thin it is. I think I paid about 20 something dollars for it. I was like, yikes, it's a bit thin when I saw it when it came for the money that I spent. 
but it seems like a really cool book as well it's got how many pages like 120 pages so it's quite a quick read on the back this one says we all want to be happy there are countless books and teachers in the world that try to help people be happier yet we all continue to suffer in no mud no lotus i don't know how to say this guy's name but Fitch Nut Han offers practices and inspiration for transforming suffering into true joy. He shares how the practices of stopping, mindful breathing, and deep concentration can generate the energy of mindfulness within our daily lives. With that energy, we can embrace emotional and physical pain and calm it down instantly, bringing relief, freedom, and clarity. There's a bit more, but I just can't be bothered reading the whole thing. I think I saw Chloe Zepp reading this, and I was like, yep. Yeah. I'll get onto that one too. The next book I have is Girls Stop Apologising and this is by Rachel Hollis and it's a shame free plan for embracing and achieving your goals. When I read the title I just thought of something that I was definitely interested in. On the back it says Rachel Hollis is a live out loud leader with a heart for helping women tenaciously chase their purpose and dreams without apology. And that is something that I can really relate to at the moment and I'm just on all the trend of like don't do things just because you're scared of what others will think because it's about you at the end of the day and what you want to get out of your life so you shouldn't let the opinions of other people stop you from doing what you want to do. I just thought this book was really going to put me in the right direction with that and help me build my confidence. Even just doing YouTube videos this year has completely grown my confidence. My aim for the year was to try and make three YouTube videos because I knew it would be a big step for me to get outside of my comfort zone and do that. But I've made like 13 videos now and I'm on such a roll so I obviously need to get a new goal. The next book is Atomic Habits by James Clear. This one again, I literally am such a broken record lately. It's just like, they're all on social media. That is where I get all my inspiration by what other people are reading. Obviously I've seen it numerous times over and over again so there must be something going on about this book. So this book is an easy and proven way to build good habits and break bad ones. I'm all about that. I have a lot of habits that are really bad and a lot of habits that are good but if I, there's any way that I can improve on my habits and break down old ones I'll definitely go for it so hopefully this book will help me with that. On the back the book says people think when you want to change your life you need to think big but world renowned habits expert James Clear has discovered another way. He knows that real change comes from the compound effect of hundreds of small decisions doing two push-ups a day, waking up five minutes earlier, or reading just one more page. He calls them atomic habits. In this groundbreaking book, Clear reveals exactly how these minuscule changes can grow into such life-altering outcomes. He uncovers a handful of simple life hacks, the forgotten art of habit stacking, the unexpected power of the two-minute rule, or the trick to entering the Goldilocks zone, and delves into cutting-edge psychology and neuroscience to explain why they matter. You get the drift. This last book I was actually recommended by a friend and I'm so keen to read this. This is one of the ones that I'm super interested in just because I think that it could help me so much. And this is The Invisible Load and it's a guide to overcoming stress and overwhelm by Dr. Libby Weaver. In the last year and a bit I've been so stressed and overwhelmed with just life in general and it's made me quite physically sick. It's something that I've been trying to get through and been struggling with for a bit now but I think it could have some really helpful tips to hopefully change the way that I've been feeling lately. And just inside the book, this is a really pretty book. These are the pages here. It just looks so inviting, like I'm so keen to read this. On the back it says, do you frequently feel overwhelmed? It's common today to hear people talk about how they feel overwhelmed. There are also plenty who put on a brave face, but behind closed doors, it's a different story. Where is this stress coming from? Is it really our tasks, duties and responsibilities or is it something deeper and why are stress levels continuing to rise? The answer, our invisible loads. And then it just goes on to explain more ways in which you can find out why this is. Okay, so that wraps up my 10 books which I'll be reading in 2020. If you would like to know any more about these books or where you can get them, please leave a comment down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've read these books before, let me know what you thought of them. Super excited to get into these and finish off Create Calm, which I'm reading right now. If you have any questions for me, just leave a comment down below. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel as it helps my channel to grow. And also give this video a big thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Have a lovely day, dolls, and see you next time. Bye. So tell me who's gonna love you, love you like I do Who's gonna touch you, touch you like I do